What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. In the winter, there's only one type of nightstand clock you should have. And this is it. This is the MPOW calendar curve clock. But what it makes this really special is that it's temperature and humidity. And so here in uh, the Midwest, it gets cold in the winter. And with that dry, cold air, a lot of people are getting dried noses and sniffles and find it hard to breathe and all sorts of things. So uh, knowing what the humidity is so that you can adjust it so that you can stay comfortable is really, really important. Now here's the user manual. Uh, you can see here we've got a lot of that standard clock features. I'm really excited to check out what we can do with all this. Looks like time, date, and then temperature and humidity right all there. And nicely protected. Wow, there it goes. Man, highly reflective. Very very shiny plastic on the front and it kind of rolls over the edge here. So you get a really nice, clean, bezel-free look. Uh, a little, it looks like a little TV, to be honest. Uh, you get this plastic foot here and on the bottom you have two rubber rails. Uh, pretty tacky, not sticky, but tacky. So that should not move at all. Looks like we've got to look some uh, holes right there. That's maybe where um, the, hum the hygrometer gets its reading. So you can see here, it looks like we have a speaker on the back. We have a lot of the functions, micro USB in here so that you don't have to worry about uh, using some sort of proprietary power cable. Looks like we have USB out right there. So it looks like we have a ton of stuff. Um, alarm mode on, weekend mode, which means stop waking me up early and alarm off. And then over here we have calendar, lock, and then uh, time it looks like. So you have an AB switch there and then our little reset pinhole button there. And then up at the top, we have alarm two and up and a down button for changing temperature or time. Looks like you have your snooze button here, big one. I never use snooze, but you might. <laughs> Lies. Uh, and then also a dimmer with a little light bulb on there. And then alarm one, boom. So you can have a couple of different alarms, you know, if you get up at different times. And then we have a power brick right here, two prong, USB ports there, and then what we have here is what looks like a very long micro USB cable. So to plug this in, I do like the fact that it comes straight out the back so that it's not off to the side, it doesn't hurt the look of it at all. And there we go, thing is already on, and man, it's got this kind of electric blue look. Um, I kind of dig it, man. Uh, it's gonna be a little hard to see because of the lights that I have in here and it's kind of reflected, but um, It's actually looks brighter on camera than it does in person and what I really like about that So I don't know it just it looks really bright on the camera I don't know how that'll come across But it's almost a little faded behind this plastic and what I really like about that is that it's not gonna really disturb your night vision I feel like if I have this on my nightstand and I've had a lot of clocks before where the light put out by the clock because I, I have kind of bad vision, and so I've gotten some of those really big red um, LCD clocks before, and they're so bright, they kind of disturb you when you're sleeping, but this blue is almost like moonlight, and it's actually, it's just, it doesn't project out. I'm, I'm not sure how to explain that. It's just kind of much more subtle than a lot of clocks that I've seen. Now, it obviously, like all the electronics, goes to noon when you fire the sucker up, and we have the month and day there. Uh, temperature that it's reading right now, which I think that's probably pretty accurate. And then humidity, wow, 52%. That's a pretty awesome. Uh, that's why it's so comfortable in here right now. Actually, you know, between 35 and 45% humidity, I'm actually really comfortable. So that's even on the high end. Now, let's see what we can do here. If I wanted to um, change some of the stuff, like uh, go to the weekend mode or the alarm off, I think that's gonna be reflected when we move this switch here. And then, so it says weekend right there. You can see that better actually on camera. Uh, now if I go to this switch right here, calendar or clock, I think what we're gonna be able to do is, ooh, we'll set the day, month, and year. So now I'm in January 2018, and since it is 2018, I wanna get to December, so I'm just gonna hold this down, and as you can see here, it's going to start flying through some dates, uh, but that's how you would be able to set that, so I'm just gonna act like we already, <laughs> went ahead and set that. I'm gonna switch this down here to the clock portion. And now we get into the time setting. So if I use these arrow buttons again, I can adjust the, the minutes and what you do here is you just 
I think, again, hold down, and you're going to start flying through those times. So you would just get it up to whatever time, and then take it out of time setting mode, and move it back to lock, which will be the middle position, and you're good to go. So that is pretty cool. I definitely like this. Um, I'll roll in a shot here of it sitting kind of in the dark because I think that's going to be more interesting. You Normally I like having these things really well lit for you, but I think it's going to be important to see what this looks like in the dark. It's not expensive. And like I said, um, just even buying a hygrometer or something just to know what the humidity is, you know, they're not very nice looking. They're maybe only a few bucks if you get the low end ones, but this will tell you all that information so you can really help uh, dial in that humidity in your house or your home so that it's going to be really comfortable for you. I think really important, whether it's a really dry, arid climate like a desert or a really cold climate like it is here in the Midwest right now. So that's why I picked this up, but I really love all the other features. I think this looks great. Uh, it's gonna be a nice addition to my nightstand. Check out the link in the description if you wanna pick one up. Peter Pond Panda, out!